Hello, we're going to talk about how to use a tonal pen. A tonal pen is a device that's portable and it's used to measure the intraocular pressure. Let's start by putting in one of the condoms. The condom, it will come just like this right out of the package. It's placed on top of the tonal pen just like that and then the sleeve is brought down. The tonal pen is now ready to use. You just need to remove the cardboard tip just like this and we're good to go. How it works, press the black button at the top. The tonal pen will now turn on. Here there will be two lines, two lines of dashes. When there are two lines, that means it's ready to measure the pressure. How the pressure is measured is you gently tap the cornea a few times. It'll make a few light taps followed by a long beep. Let's do that one more time. So there were a few light taps followed by a long beep the pressure will be read on the LCD display here. There are a few numbers here, greater than 20, 20, 10, and 5%. This is the standard error, and a little bar lights up right above the standard error. The standard error should be 5%. Um, if it's greater than that, it should be redone. Now let's go ahead and do this on a patient, and we'll see how to install drops and how to measure the actual pressure. Here's a tonal pen that is in calibration mode. What do we do there? It says CAL here. Hold the tonal pen with a condom in place. Hold the tonal pen with a condom in place down, okay, in the down position. The tonal pen itself will still say CAL mode. After a while, now it'll say flip the tonal pen up. You hold it here. And now the tonal pen says good, and that's all there is to calibration. Before we check the pressure with the tonal pen, it's necessary to freeze the eye with some alkane. Okay. What is the proper way to install a drop? Let me show you. Have the patient look up. Would you be able to look up for me, please? Yes, sir. Lower the inferior lid and put a drop in the fornix. Just like that. Then release the lid and give a few seconds for the drop to take effect. Now, to check the pressure, take the tonal pen, rest one of your fingers on the patient's cheek. Move the tonal pen into a perpendicular position and have the patient look straight ahead. Look straight ahead for me, please. And then the motion is a quick tap on the cornea, just like this, till the tonal pen beeps and the pressure is red. So here we go. And that's it. And the pressure is a normal 21. It's important to keep the tonal pen perpendicular. Holding it like this would be incorrect. Holding it like this would be incorrect. Also, holding it in thin air would be incorrect as the pressure applied would be uncontrolled. It's also important to have the patient relaxed and not squeezing because squeezing artificially raises the pressure. And that's all there is to it.